Paige Thorne and Adam Collar die reportedly on a break, after footage of him with his arm around another woman on a night out went viral. The Welsh paramedic is said to be taking some time away from her long-distance boyfriend, amid footage going viral of her hunky Geordie Beau with his arms around another woman in a McDonald's over recent days. As the footage first emerged, Adam's reps told the media, Adam headed to McDonald's after a night out with friends. His friends were alongside him when a group of girls asked for photos and Adam being his friendly self was open to posing and chatting to the girls, alongside other fans who wanted to chat in the same video. Adam understands how this video looks but wants to state that he left the restaurant with his friends and a box of 60 nuggets, with nothing or no one else, with the intention of getting home safely. They added, Adam and Paige are currently dating and Adam only has eyes for her. However, it seems things have changed over recent days, with a source now claiming Paige is really upset with everything that's happened and is seemingly reconsidering her future with Adam. Paige, who recently signed a fashion deal with Forever Unique, is said to believe that he didn't do anything, though is reportedly still feels really upset and humiliated. The pair had narrowly missed out on a place in the final of Love Island over the summer and as the cracks are beginning to show, here we take a look at how the other finalists are doing. Ekansu and David Ekansu Kalkulaglu, 28, and David St. Clemente, 27, were crowned the winners of the latest series of Love Island, after having a roller coaster of an experience in the villa. The couple have continued to develop their relationship since the show, with Ek and Sue having teased last month that are planning to move in together in the coming weeks. It's been announced they will front their own travel and cooking show for ITV2, which is set to see the pair spend a week in Turkey, before visiting his native Italy. They have already been abroad together, after traveling to New York earlier this month whilst Tech and Sue was promoting her partnership with fashion brand Opali. Other updates have included the couple working out together, just like they did in the villa, as well as Ek and Sue having walked the runway during New York Fashion Week. Gemma and Luca Gemma Owen, 19, and Luca Bish, 23, placed as runners-up in the latest installment of the reality show and have remained together since returning to the UK from the villa. The couple went official last month when Luca organised a proposal for his now girlfriend, which she said had proved to be a special night and was worth the wait. She however suggested earlier this month that they won't be moving in together yet, saying they're pretty happy at the moment but it's definitely on the cards. Since the show, Gemma has been named as an ambassador for Pretty Little Thing and hinted she could be working with Paramount Studios on a new TV project. She has also revealed that she wants to continue to be an international dressage writer, and boyfriend Luca is returning to non-league football with Hailsham Town. India and Dami India Polak, 23, and Dami Hope, 26, came third in the final of the ITV2 reality series, after having gone through their fair share of drama whilst living in the villa abroad. The couple have stayed together since leaving the show with India having gone over to Dami's native Ireland earlier this month to spend time with him and his family. Dami told Sunday World a few weeks ago he plans to relocate to the UK and move in with India in the near future, adding there are good opportunities in London. He however said at the time that they've been so busy with India having announced several partnerships including having become a brand ambassador for Boots UK. She's also working with fashion brand Pretty Little Thing as the first ever ambassador for its marketplace, which she described as a dream come true when she announced it. Tasha and Andrew Tasha Gori, 24, and Andrew LePage. 
27, came in fourth place during the final of this year's Love Island, and have since continued to develop their relationship. The couple announced that they had officially moved in together in their own place earlier this week, after teasing that they had found their dream place in London. They had visited his hometown on Guernsey a few weeks ago and had both hinted at the possibility of getting engaged, having teased each other about it recently. Since leaving the villa, Tasha has been announced as the first ever pre-loved ambassador for retailer eBay UK and has launched her own shoe collection with brand Simi. Andrew, who has been involved with brands like Subway and Whitley Neal Jin since leaving the villa, has been one of the bookies' favorites to do dancing on nice. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29